Let's look at the constant dividend growth model. So this is the timeline for the constant dividend growth model. And as you can see from its name, in this timeline, we can see that the dividends that a stock pays grows uh, at a constant rate. Okay. So as you can see, we have period zero. So year is zero and then one, two, three, and it goes on forever. And the cash flows here in year zero is minus P zero. So P zero is the initial price, which the investor pays to acquire the stock, for instance. And then from year one and onwards, you get a certain dividend. And as you can see, this dividend grows. Okay, so after the first dividend, the dividend grows by a rate denoted by G. So G is the growth rate. And as you can see, we then have to put it to the power of whichever period after the first one it is. Okay. Excellent. And from this timeline, what we can derive is that the constant dividend growth model equation is this. So in order to find out the initial price of a stock uh, that gives dividends and that grows uh, at a constant rate forever is equal to the dividend that it pays every year over the uh, equity cost of capital minus the growth rate. Okay. So dividend one is the dividend that it pays and RE is the equity cost of capital. Excellent. Now let's apply this to the next exercise. The exercise reads, Summit Systems will pay a dividend of $1.46 this year. If you expect Summit's dividend to grow by 5.1% per year, what's the price per share if its equity cost of capital is 11.2%? So like always, what I recommend is that you write down the information you have first. So we know that the dividend is 1.46. Then it says that the we expect the dividend to grow by 5.1%. So that's the growth rate. And then what's the price if the equity cost of capital is 11.2%? So then we know that the equity cost of capital is 11.2%. Okay. And then remember our for formula is PO is equal to the dividend over RE minus the growth rate. So then we can plug in the numbers that we have and we get 1.46 over RE uh, in decimal places, 0 0.112 minus the growth rate in decimal places, uh, 0 0.051. And if you plug this into your calculator, you should get that the initial price or that the price per share is equal to 23.93. Okay, rounding two decimal places. So let me know down in the comments if you have any questions on this.